The Nordic Thingy 52 is the latest IoT sensor kit from Nordic Semiconductor. It contains their latest NRF Bluetooth range and allows you to connect simply via Android or iOS. The development board contains many sensors and inputs to allow you to see exactly what this chip can do and how simple it is to integrate into your own product. Once you have downloaded the Thingy app and turned on the Nordic Thingy, which the switch can be found on the bottom here, open the app, go to Devices or Add New Thingy. I have named my thingy demo. I will now click on that to connect. You may have to update the software on a brand new thingy. I have already done this, so I will now click the done button. On the environmental section of the app, you are able to see the temperature, pressure, humidity, CO2, TVOC and light sensor. As you can see the temperature graph on the thingy raise as I raise the temperature. On the UI section of the app you are able to change the various LED colours as such. You can also change it to constant. and change the light level or you can put it on to breathe you're also able to change the intensity of the light The thingy contains a accelerometer which you can on the motion section see the orientation of the device. You can also see which direction it is heading in, northeast for example, southeast, southwest, northwest, and it has a tap sensor so you can see which direction it's being tapped and also it has a step counter on board. The final menu on the thingy is the sound menu. Here you are able to play different streams of 8-bit PCM out of the thingy's microphone. There is also a piano which you can play. Finally there is a microphone so if you are to enter that the thingy will record your voice and play it back to you via the telephone. I thought I'd briefly show a customer's use of the NRF range in an application. This is a board made by RVO and Kent that they took to Southern Manufacturing 2017 and it allows you to change the LED grid. You can see here that you can change the temperature. On the RVO app they have also have an adjustable egg timer. It's currently set to 3 seconds.